Hi, we're the co-founders of Linked Permanent Jewelry Training. We're so excited to have you here. My name is Jake Granoff, and this is Sarah Otto. So Sarah is our main trainer. She's the one who has years of experience in permanent jewelry, and I'm the marketer and the business guy. Um, so we'd like to, you know, answer some frequently asked questions and tell you a little bit about Linked. You don't need any pre-qualifications to start doing jewelry, uh, not even a high school education. You just got to be able to follow along with the modules and instruction. So yeah, this is one of our most common questions. You know, everybody wants to know, do I need welding experience? Well, you know, the fact is, yes, Sarah has lots of welding experience and that's how she was able to pick it up on her own. But for the normal person like me who has no idea how to weld, you know, you don't. None of our students um, knew how to weld before they started. In fact, you know, my cousin, who I um, got on our training, she like had never even picked up a hammer. She was a very girly girl, and um, now she's doing great, making you know nineteen hundred dollars plus at events. And so, long story short, no, you don't need any welding experience. I've been teaching permanent makeup for about five years, so I'm pretty familiar with the teaching setting. It is a little different to do it online, but I think third time's a try, and here we are. Yeah, and just to give, like Sarah's very humble, but just to give her credit, she's been welding for over 10 years. And so she literally was able to teach herself by picking up bits and pieces from here and there, which, you know, I don't think anybody else would be able to do that at the time because you started what, over a year? It was like two years ago? A little over a year, yeah. Yeah, and then, you know, you, you basically taught yourself and then... Um, I mean, it's a little different working on AC versus a DC current, but... Yeah, so you've you've dealt with like big rig wel welders, right? Yeah, so I know a lot about argon and mixing with carbon dioxide and that kind of thing, but you don't need a whole lot of experience. It helped that I was able to do it because there was no training at the time, so that yeah. makes me a little bit more credible there to train you, but... And from my point of view, I've seen the difference that makes with helping our students because I've heard some stories from other training companies where, you know, they don't really know much about it. And so, like, when it comes down to actually welding and, like, if things go wrong or, like, you know... It, not necessarily wrong, but if like someone has a question, those trainers don't really, you know, have that much experience with it. Whereas Sarah, she knows the science behind welding. She knows the, you know, in-depth stuff she needs to know. And so it really does help when it comes to training and support. Yeah, I think being raised in a farm and cattle community makes me a little bit more credible just because that's our way of life. And to know that makes it a little bit easier to exist in those kind of communities. So we have a wide um, variety of students. I mean, anywhere from someone who's never had a business, you know, just like one of our students, Taylor, she had never had a business before. Um, now she's making about $16,000 a month. And then we also have, you know, a lot of previous business owners or current business owners. So, you know, a lot of beauty businesses, just like Sarah did, she was a permanent makeup artist. Um, a lot of beauty businesses add this to their service or boutiques. And so we have a wide demographic as far as that goes. As far as age goes, I mean, it's all over the place, right? Yeah, I think one of our youngest students is 17 years old. Yes, anywhere from 17, and I think we have some students that are like 65 years old, and so, you know, really anybody can learn it. Yeah, I think the thing, the great thing that Jake said is, and we did this um, for a reason, is we put it in front of PMU artists first, so when they were put into that group, and then we went and marketed ourselves, people who have never ran a business before, you're being entered into a group of people that have been in business for decades. So you're not only getting our help and the help from the team, but you're getting help from all of these, these women who just wanna see other women succeed. Yeah, and that's that's one of the huge advantages of our private Facebook group is like she said, there's lots of other business owners on there. And so whether you have a question about, you know, business operations or, you know, insurance or like how to, you know, take payments, there's like so many questions that get asked and our students are able to answer before we even get a chance to answer for them. And so it's just an amazing support community. You don't technically need insurance. We do really urge you as a business owner, whether you're running a boutique or a food company or you're a permanent makeup artist, you're always gonna to want to have some sort of insurance. Um, just be a responsible business owner. But if you are inter interested in getting insurance for PMJ specifically, permanent jewelry, PMJ is the term we use for that, we do have um, someone that you can get in contact with and get your business registered for insurance. I started doing permanent jewelry a little over a year ago because I was bored um, with what I was already doing. I'd met a threshold in my career um, and I kind of, I just needed a creative outlet. It seemed really cool. I wanted to learn. I taught myself. Um, and then I saw a very big need for trainers because there were none. And everyone that was doing the service was kind of gatekeeping their answers, the machines they were using or the type of metals and all of that kind of thing, all those kinds of things. So I just 
I struggled to find those answers, and even though I knew how to weld already, it really helped me, um, but I knew that I could help a lot more people be more financially free, which was all I was doing, being an entrepreneur in the, in the beginning anyway. Yeah, I'll never forget the day Sarah called me, because me and her had been working together for about five years already, because I run a, um, a marketing agency in the beauty industry, and you know she has a beauty business, and so we, we've known each other, we've been good friends for a long time, and um, she called me, she's like, hey Jake, you know, can you help me run some ads? And I was like, yeah, sure, ads for what? She was like, I've got this new thing called Permanent George, I want to start training. I was like, oh, what's permanent jewelry? Is that where you like embed it into somebody's skin? <laughs> Which I think that's sometimes a misconception a lot of us have. Um, anyways, long story short, I was like, you know, I started ask, ans or asking you a lot of questions. And I was like, wow, this would be a great, you know, add on service for my beauty clients or even like the fact that you can take someone who wants to be an entrepreneur, but maybe they don't know what kind of business to start. You know, that's something I'm very passionate about. Um, so being either way, like it's awesome. And so I was like, yeah, let, let me be a 50, 50 partner. Like this is amazing. And then here we are, <laughs> which I think is a huge testament, um, to my belief behind why you make, you made me successful in the past five years and why it was so important. And then I'm initially contacting you. It wasn't to be a 50, 50 partner. It was just for business advice because I trust you. So it was a no brainer when you asked to, you know, be a part of LinkedIn. I was like, absolutely. Cause that's going to do nothing but help our students. Yeah. Just to put that in perspective within, you know, Within those five years, I'd only focused on one business. I'd never tried to start anything else, but permanent jewelry is something that I believe in so much and I saw the opportunity there. And you know, it's it's paid off for our students. Like we have so many success stories already that, you know, it was obviously a good use of my time, but like that was the first time in five years that I wanted to do anything other than my marketing agency. You do not need an LLC to start your own permanent jewelry. However, we strongly urge you to. Not only is it gonna help you financially when it comes to do taxes, but it's also gonna protect your personal assets. Um, no matter what type of business you're doing, whether it's a very, very, very small business that you don't intend to do more than once or twice a month, um, or a business that you wanna make a daily you know, career out of, a brick and mortar, it's always, it's always a good idea to have the LLC. Um, you can get with your accountant and set that up, or you can do it easily online. Yeah, I think the term LLC, you know, kind of intimidates some people, but overall, like, it's a little, like, for me personally, like, this is not financial advice, but for me personally, I just get my accountant to set up an LLC for me for any new business, and I think it takes, like, a couple weeks for the paperwork to go through. It's usually, like, a few hundred bucks, and it's a very simple process. It's nothing, like, complicated to be intimidated about. Oh, yeah, so... One, I've helped thousands of beauty businesses around the world, so I take that experience and you know use it for our students and help them get booked up, you know, and make sure that they have the best resources to succeed. And two, I'm a very competitive person, and so me, like, I'm proud to be part of Linked. And so anytime a student signs up with us, I'm like, all right, awesome, I'm going to help them, you know, really dominate the area, really build the business of their dreams, and you know, really grow. And so you know, with those two combinations combined, like, it's hard not to succeed as a Linked student. You get a 30% discount code with linked and it's life. You can use that code for life to get, um, you know, restock on your jewelry. You do not have to buy from us. You're welcome to buy from wherever else. Uh, we do ask you to do your due diligence though. So make sure that you're asking these people questions about their materials um, and that it's quality, maybe even testing it yourself. Um, because there are gonna be some people out there that's selling you plated jewelry and telling you that it's filled or that's 14 karat when it's not. Uh, we do follow California Proposition 65. Um, I'm, you know, really proud of that. So. Yes, you do have a 30% discount code that you can use with us, but you're not, you know, bind to having to buy from us either. And as far as the supplies go, you're really going to get everything you need to get started. Now, like small things, like if you want a little table to put your machine on, which a lot of people already have, like we have links to all that stuff in our Facebook group, but like our students, they'll, you know, they'll send out cute pictures of like their setup and it looks really cool. And they'll, they'll share like their Amazon links of where they got it. But it's like, you really have everything you need already in the starter kit. I think support is one of the things we're absolutely known for because like Sarah's always helpful. Like I see her on like FaceTime calls. We have a very helpful team now that's, you know, very proficient in permanent jewelry. And so, you know, everybody raves about our support. You know, we've got over 55 star reviews already. Yeah, I think support is really important to me. Um, you know, it's, I'm constantly taking FaceTime calls or calls in general, anytime that all our Google Voice is connected to all our phones. And the thing is, is it's not just me and Jake, and it's not just the student group where there's all these other business owners um, or these women that are coming into it and being really successful. We have a whole team that's ready to help you. Um, and they're, the Google Voice is connected to their phone. So anytime anyone calls, we're all seeing it. There's no reason that someone shouldn't be you know, answered unless it's after bedtime. <laughs>